welcome to another episode of Get Dressed with Merrick. It has been a couple weeks since I've done one because we've been doing holiday gift guides. So I'm excited to share some tips with you today and hopefully this will be helpful. Um, one of the girls on my team, Laura, uh, she followed me for years before she started working for me. And she said that this was like the number one tip that she remembered all these years later and was super helpful for her. So hopefully it's helpful for you. Hopefully this is one of those things that'll just stick in your brain for a long time. So today we were talking about what to layer over long tops like this. So during the fall, usually you can get away with leggings and a sweater like this if it's not too cold, but in the winter when you need an extra layer, what length of jacket should you wear with a long top like this? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I actually did a roundup of long tunic length tops like this a couple of weeks ago. I will link that here if you are interested in finding one but they're just such a good, like cozy option with leggings, boots, flats, sneakers, whatever. The blog post is all about this with pictures of different do's and don'ts. I think you'll find it very helpful. I will link that here too, if you just wanna check that out and skip through all the videos. There's a mistake that I see a lot of women make, and that is to wear jackets that are shorter than the tunic, significantly shorter. That is a lot of inches in between. That's like eight or nine inches here. And For one, it just creates like odd proportions. It kind of cuts your leg line off in a weird spot. Like where is my waist? What is happening? But also you get this nice like diaper bum in the back. Like I don't know that you want this kind of situation. You know what I mean? So what do you do? You could do two things. Two things. One, you could... Choose a shorter top. If your top was not like heavyweight, you could tuck it, you could knot it, and have your top be the same length as your jacket, or you could choose a longer jacket. Let me show you that option too. Okay, look at the difference here when you have a longer coat. And you can do a shorter coat that is the same length or similar length to your tunic, that's totally fine. But see how this just totally changes my silhouette? no saggy diaper in the back (laughs) and you can still have the long tunic but it doesn't create odd proportions bonus points for a jacket that creates some shape here this is called a dress coat where it has the shape of a dress it has these seams that come down right here that give it that hourglass silhouette and then um, flare out that's extremely flattering to give you a shape Um, some coats are just straight down those are fine, but just if you're wearing things that don't give you a shape already, this is a good option. A slightly shorter jacket, not quite as long. Um, so the length of the tunic and the length of the jacket are very similar, which totally works too. You don't have any saggy diaper in the back. Um, you have some shape here from the jacket and your proportions look correct here. So you can do longer coat, you can do shorter coat, whatever just as long as the jacket is the same length or longer than the top you're wearing underneath. I also wanted to show you a long top option like this that's not really a tunic, it's just a long t-shirt. This is very lightweight, Um, but I wanna show you with the shorter jacket because the same issues come up. Let me show you. It's not such a difference in length like the tunic was. The tunic was several inches longer, but you're still getting this tire of a T around your waist. It just creates this tire, which is just not, it doesn't do anybody any favors. It cuts off your leg line. It just creates odd proportions. So with a t-shirt like this, you could knot it up like that or tuck it, whatever you want. And then you've got your full leg line showing and you've got this at the same height. That's not staying, but you know, do a real knot. Just can't do it one-handed. Here it is with the shorter of the long jackets. Again, you could tuck this up if you wanted to, to lengthen your leg line. See when I can see from my waist all the way down to the bottom of my feet, that leg line is is lengthened or elongated. See how that just shortens my leg line? You see the difference there? Totally up to you what you wanna do. Personal preference for sure, but just as long as the length of your jacket is longer than the length of your top, you're good. Here's one more option just to show you with a thicker coat because all those other coats were a little more fitted and sleek. This is obviously a very puffy coat. Um, But the length here is very similar to the length of the jacket and it totally works. Yes, you can tuck it. 
if you want to elongate that leg line, but it's absolutely not necessary. So if you have just as long as it's the same length or your jacket is longer, you're good to go. Got it? I hope those examples were helpful. Um, I have more examples in the blog post, some graphics, if you want to pin them on Pinterest so that you can remember, whatever you want. Um, and then I'll leave a question box here if you have any questions specifically about layering jackets over long tops. If not, I'll see you next week.